Hello and welcome to part 6 of 11 where we follow uh, the campaign in North Africa largely with a bit of West Africa but we don't quite manage to uh, defeat the Axis in Africa during this video but we get pretty close so if you um, just stand by your beds and everything will be working out lovely Right, and pick it up, trying to still break through in North Africa. Ah, so more unassigned divi divisions. <clears throat> more insurance policies against Japan, really, than anything else. Still got plenty of available troops still trying to break through but it's still green which is nice nice oh and 12 convoys gone mm -hmm. oh dear it's all gone red oh and another 12 convoys this would be hitting them quite hard Who are we going to add? Nobody. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. You can probably see my brain working here. Yeah, but we've already got him. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay. So, yes. Just waiting to. Oh, I think we regrouped and redid the plan. Waited for the plan. We got the planning bonus. Yeah, I don't think we need to change that one. And reallocate them to the North Africans. Yep. Kept his planning bonus then. Right, landing craft done. Good. <coughs> yes, so still only in 1940s, so not too late with uh, that one, but it's a defensive one. So four convoys down there. And yes, battles, because we haven't taken the Comoros Islands. So, yes, remember to do that earlier next time before doing, well, at the same time as doing Madagascar, I think, before they reinforce it. Go, go, go. Mm, yeah, no, what? Yeah. It's 20 width. It's got all the stuff. Ah, a bit short of motorised, that's why. Presumably because we've been losing them. Recon onto infantry divisions may help a little bit. Yeah, well, yes, I suppose that's probably. <coughs> oh, no, support artillery. Increases the soft tech marginally. Probably not worth that, really. And I think it slows you down as well, so. Yep, signal companies are probably better because you get the uh, 
um, ability to go back into battle faster when you're actually in the battle. Right, we can have the next offensive. Oh, we just waiting for those reinforcements to come. Okay, back to West Africa. Right, the bow fighter, that's a heavy fighter, I think, yes. So onto the next one here. Not sure. What we go for? Thinking that gives you plus five percent. That gives you plus ten percent. It is nineteen forty. Could go for the charges. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's start making the bone fighter. Though its time is probably coming to an end. Oh, upgrade Spitfire. Good. Right, Tandine's lost four, so they think they have troops there. That's the problem. Right, to start off the naval invasion. He's not quite here yet. But if I strategically given him a strategic move option, probably would have got there a bit faster, but not too bad. And starting, even though he doesn't have any planning bonus. All right, still adding factories, so keep that up to date. Oil still looks all right. Artillery is a bit light. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything about the Greeks. It's, we weren't, haven't, weren't quite good enough there. No, we don't want to do that. Not unless the um, not unless you've lost a lot of destroyers. And the destroyers you get are fairly rubbish as well, so Right, what's going on here? Forty four bad. Oh they've got two divisions and we've only got one. So that's not going to work. And I don't think we did. We not sure we put any. Uh, no, we didn't have any um, any ships to to give naval invasion support either. So that's probably doomed to start with. Yeah, I just seem to be hitting convoys. So we are winning the naval war fairly handsomely. A bit early for planes. Don't really want strategic. Oh yes, land doctrines. Probably should have thought about them a bit earlier. But anyway, we still seem to be a little bit on top of the boys, of the Italians and the Spanish here. It's still fair amounts of green, but also a little bit of red. But I think over time, as production will ensure that we will be able to gain the upper hand. Ah, so two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and 25 French destroyers all sunk for the loss of five aircraft. Well, that shows air power pretty good. Lots of green seas. Right, see, so yes, that didn't work. So 
send those back there and try with a slightly bigger force, I think. Yeah, and into there. Forget about that one. Yeah. Right. Oh, so Pride of the Fleet gone as well. Two battleships. Ah, but they sunk our Hermes. That was the small one, wasn't it? Yes, it's Glorious is still there, but um, yeah, they they're looking. The French are looking quite battered now. Oh, and another heavy cruiser gone. Oh, and another heavy cruiser gone. And two more convoys. And another one. And another convoy. And another one. And a battleship. Dang. So yes, I think that's probably the end of the French. But it's a bit of a bummer that they've some my aircraft carrier there, but um we'll see. Ah, right. Well I thought for a moment we were gonna get an encirclement, but um that's not the case. I still need to keep supply going. We do have some supply problems with some of them. Oh, we did manage to get an encirclement. There's what three divisions in there. Marvelous. And that's the advantage of having tanks at the front line. You can get encirclements because they've only got infantry, I think. Well, they do have some cavalry as well, but um, yes, really starting to push them back now. Just again, note not to, in, not to invite your colonial or Commonwealth allies into the war. Yes, so do you have to abandon Greece? Don't really have the troops to be able to protect it. So um, just have to let them go. Pretty much like in the real conflict. Right, but you can try and protect. Crete, because Crete is a difficult place to attack with naval, because you have to naval invade, and if we've got naval invasion, uh, if we've got um, superiority, you should be able to hold them out. Can't remember how that happened, how it actually happens, but we shall see. Right. So again, I think I was building up my planning bonuses there, but they all seem to be pretty much fully planned. So not quite sure why I was hesitating there. Not sure whether we got Tizard. That's one of the uh, slightly frustrating things about this. Sometimes you just don't know what the outcome is. So more artillery. Yeah, they're we're definitely falling back, but they yeah, it's because we've encircled a couple of those divisions. They don't seem to have anything yet. Oh, there we go. Tizard rejected. Those blighters. Um yes. Well I'm not sure quite what else we could have done there, but never mind. Right, let's go aggressive. What else do we want? Yeah, I mean, extra 5% is always handy, especially if you can speed it up. Yeah, still push, pushing them back in Libya. The 
I've only got four divisions, so I would hope that we would make fairly swift process progress even. some defensive troops into Crete just to see if we can hold them off and stop uh, an invasion because that might be useful later. I think that's the invasion of the common morals that I just started there. Handy. Though him falling ill is not going to help. Yeah, making good progress. Lots of supply issues there. Well, not everybody has supply issues, but a good chunk of them do. Yeah, attempt at an encirclement. Don't think we're going to be fast enough. And now they're just going to double retreat, I think. Being, it's being a bit slow with trying to get the encirclements done. Yeah, I think yeah, org is just too slow. But at least we've captured Tripoli. Right, you two, well, one of you to defend Tripoli. Yeah, strategically, I remember to do a strategic one. Ah, oh, right, and now we captured the Comoros, so that's um, completely missed the battle, but uh, all done. So that is the uh, East Africa secured. Where did the other one go? That should be one up there somewhere. That's five, four, five, there's six, one of them. Ah, right, there we are. So we will send them. After changing the color so I can see where he is. Doesn't make it that obvious, but anyway. We will send them to Malta. Marvellous. Not sure why the Greeks have put a mountain division into Malta. I would have thought it would be a lot more handy being in Greece. Oh, and another division as well. I would again thought they would have been a lot more handy being in Greece, but I suppose the AI knows what it's doing, or not. Right, yes, yeah, still plodding along here. I think you probably should have done more in West Africa, but um, concentrating on winning here first. And I think once we've captured Libya, we should, I think we stop and uh, redo the planning. Yes, because the planning was only as far as the Libyan Tunisian border. But we're almost there, 97, 90. Oh, he's pushed on a bit further. Yeah, I think we were yeah, trying to do 
there's Greek fallen trying to encircle those four divisions there it. That will take a bit of time I think before they get the encirclement penalty. Yes, the AI does love to run them around for some reason rather than just trying to Collapse the pocket. But it should make for a very happy Christmas in 1940. Not so much for the um, the Italian prisoners of war. Yeah, right. They've got the encirclement penalty now. They've still got low supply. And uh, yeah, you must have air superiority as well, so that's handy. Send in the tanks. Can you see there's a distinct lack of tanks on this front? But. Um, does given we've got two divisions worth it should make an advantage and they are pretty much all just foot infantry 99 is it done is it done tell me it's done achingly slow but then i'm only on two speed so that's only to be expected There we go. So I think we uh, oh more um, more bombing going on. Yeah, let's try and intercept those with our heavy fighters and yeah, just throw some more fighters in there. Try and stop them. There's nothing over southern England. Yep, it's gone contested. Four hundred to three hundred. Do we have any more? Yep, just throw that extra fifty. Right. Yeah, let's just get everybody to the front line and do some more planning. So yeah, I think we just want to go. Yeah, to the border of Morocco and Algeria. And just wait for that planning bonus to come up. Yeah, I think we're pretty even Stevens there. What, 13 fighters lost, 119 fighters lost. Well, we're actually beating them quite handily, really. Even though they've got slightly more. What's that, 96 and 5 bombers, 666. Gosh, we're spanking them. So that's good. Um, what's happening over here? Nothing. Okay, off you go. And we have air superiority. So, yes, well, that's green. So, green is good. How many have they got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and some more under there. Probably eight, nine, ten, eleven for those light tanks. They do have some light tanks there, don't they? The French have some tank division. There's a medium tank division as well there. So maybe not quite as easy as we might have hoped. But they are all out of supply. And we're not. So that's handy. We've mainly joined the Axis. I don't think that will concern us too much. Yes, it's gone red. I think, I think because we're attacking over a river, it doesn't help. Right, Bren gun done. What next? It's almost nineteen forty one. That's nineteen forty two, but gives you eight percent research speed, so probably worthwhile. But forty two percent, so that will bump it up to fifty, so that'll be handy. Ah, so yes, we are making progress. Just not in the center. Right. Limited conscription, but we've got enough troops there, I think. Mm, okay. Not sure about that, but never mind. The Canadian Army seems to have good supply, whereas the Indians, I think, oh no, the Anzacs, the Anzacs don't, well, they say they don't on the map, but uh, the summary says that they do, which is a bit odd, but anyway, cavalry going in against the tanks. So it looks like they're retreating, doesn't it? What is going on there? Oh my lordy. That's a pretty good. So there's two French divisions there uh, encircled. They're, they're putting up a fight uh, because they've got the port. So even though there's probably oh, one, one next our division, so even though it's probably not getting much, they're probably still getting supply from the port. Yeah, pop him in there. Oh, they changed, switched. Yeah, it's a bum, bummer. Bugger trying to keep um, keep up with your air forces there because they will switch it around if you don't have enough. How's it looking now? Well, we've got 500, 31, 42, 129 bombers lost. So, yeah, 711, 62. So, yeah, we're still doing quite well there. Ah, right now, okay, so they've um, we've taken that port, so they are now encircled, so that shouldn't take too long. Ships on low strength. Uh, well, there's not much we can do about them, really, because they're, um, they're trapped without any allies in the, uh, in the um, Baltic Sea there. But um, despite that, they will just sit there forever. They don't seem to ever run out of fuel or run out of food or anything. Even though they have no ports to which to resupply. I suppose in reality they probably would have docked into Sweden and been interned. But the game, that's probably a bit too much for the game really. Maybe in the next version.
still green but also some red and one of my groups doesn't seem to have any orders anymore I'm still short of well short of artillery okay plus more wall support so now we've probably just got to regroup again three more convoys gone ah uh, okay so that was um yeah that's those Nor the norwegian ships and two of our subs taken out but that again that was probably only to be expected given they couldn't uh, escape from the baltic I think large sheets like that you should be utterly to be given a, a try even if you do get heavily bombarded by shore batteries or something I mean I expect you know, the Bosphorus and it's probably a different kettle of fish and certainly the can kill canals you can probably say yes you can't go through there but I think Gibraltar and and certainly the, that Baltic gap you can uh, you should be at least be given the attempt to get through because fairly largish bodies of water but then it is only a game right so once again some green some red right So we're assigning these three where okay, go twenty four against ten, still only one. There, where are the others? Uh, they must be on their way. Though there's a lot of. Um, oh no, they are South African. Yes, so they're ready. Six South Africans. Would it be better to go. Is the, is the crucial decision as to whether to go into Sicily or Corsica or Sardinia, even? So. Right, I'm going to naval invade behind into Anaba. Twenty one days. And down here, still much the same. Some red, some green. But I think there's a big gap. They only seem to have those uh, three, four. Five, six divisions and the medium tank division seems to have disappeared but they are all foot so they're not going to be very speedy and the uh, and the terrain because I'm not sure what the terrain is there looks hilly we, we should be able to possibly get around them if we'd had some well maybe if you've had more cavalry you could probably just encircle and get around behind pick up the ports probably would be faster oh, counter-attacking didn't last long Yeah, they keep falling behind rivers. More artillery. Well, 
still looking a bit more promising. Nice bits of green. Right. Let's see if we can cut in there. Right, so we get the destroyer focus, which gives you a bonus for research on destroyers, which is good. Okay, yes, so specialist service. It's always handy because you get extra bonuses and we get to sterling as well. Expect we're not going to be able to get in circle because it looks like those green battles will probably um, work before the other division gets in behind again. Unfortunately, because they're all colonial, colonial Commonwealth, we can't change them. But um, they're still extremely handy and. Uh, it's not exactly critical, this area of the conflict. We get an escort efficiency of 15% group. It's probably not that important again at this point. More important later with Japan. But going for the destroyer, I think probably is worthwhile. And else I think in I thought that was yes Marines so we're starting to do more naval invasions they will come in very handy well they're almost there yes as I thought we're pushing up through faster than we can get in behind Still preparing the naval invasion. The jaws of the trap are slowly closing. Right, yes, attacking. Are they different from both sides or is there? No, there's two different provinces there, aren't there? So, but at least we can stop one of them giving support to the other one. Though they will obviously then retreat back into that province probably. And the one there. Right, put one of them to cut the port, yes. That will be handy. And again, I think because you're attacking across a river, it's not really working well. What's going on here? Okay, yes, pushing through them quite nicely. They don't seem to have very many troops there. So the mountain troops might be a bit of uh, difficulty later. But again, we'll see if we can just get around them. Everything seems to be going very, very well. Some Americans. So we're not, uh, not actually in the Allies, but um, right. So that's cut one of the ports off, but they still have the other one. So we just try and capture the other one. Though there again, there's a third one. But they are uh, some of them are still out of supply, but it's all working. Right, so some German light cruiser, Danzig. Sunk. Still not ready. Okay, so that's the second port, but there's another one. Which has got the light tank sitting in it, which uh, re well a bit a bit low. Have they gone? Or can we just not see them? Wow. 
Well, we'll find out. Well, that other group's gone in there. I suspect they probably retreated to Dakar or be shipped out, but maybe not, because I doubt if our intelligence is that good. There's certainly no radars or anything here, so... And what's happening here? Ah, doing very well. It's probably not worth doing that naval invasion at all. So... We... because we're pretty much there anyway. So we'll have another go and redo it all the way down there. Right, another 21 days. Ah, uh, right, that's, so that right tank uh, division seems to have just retreated. They seem to have got more troops there now, though, haven't they? The Spanish and the Italians and the Germans have turned up. And there's quite a bit of red. I don't like red. Well, it's not true. I used to have a red car. But for the purposes of the game, I don't like red. Right, what else? Uh, it's 1941, yep, yeah, so dispersed industry. Four seems like a good idea. <coughs> Still lots of red down there. But we're still pushing them back, so. And certainly they're not doing much on the counter attacks. We just don't seem to be quite as dominant as I think we should be. But again, I think that's partly down to the fact of the lack of supply. I'm not, I, I hope that I've been doing the supply. Uh, right, so it looks like we've got another chance for an encirclement there. As we seem to have got around them in various places. They've been using tanks to do that. And so, yes, the Americans have turned up. There's six, divi six American divisions there. Because we gave them permission to move through our territory, but they're not actually our allies. So they're basically trying to avoid the problems of having your allies coming up your front lines. Right, you seem to be resisting their counterattacks now. And give them some more orders and get some planning bonuses up. And, oh my god, this looks horrible, but anyway, we should have strategically moved them as well. What? Yeah, okay. Right, not getting, not bothering with planning bonuses, just going for it. Uh, 20 days. And fifth, so seven to eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Go. Yep. Go. Go. Right. So that should help because we get behind them. <coughs> They've still got that port, but at least you deny another port. So now green, but one of them's a counter attack. But if we can get to Dakar, then yeah, they should. We should get another encirclement, I think. Ninety-eight, 
the battle looks over, but we haven't actually moved. I think we've resisted the counterattack in the north and resisting the other one in the north there. Yes. Oh, captured the airfield. Am I going to move my planes? No, I'm not. Another German submarine sunk. Oh, and then another light cruiser and two more destroyers. I don't know why it does that. It's just bonkers. They're not like they're supporting a convoy or anything. They just seem to be sitting out there waiting to get, sh waiting to get sunk. Light Cruiser 2. Did we not name that one? And another Light Cruiser. Presumably they're on a, that's a successful naval invasion. That was handy. Presumably they are patrolling, I suspect, but it's it just seems like madness to me. Right, so let's see if we can just nip behind them and pick up the ports and encircle all of them and then everything will be lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, there's another encirclement there. Only one division, but even so. Every little helps. Thank you, large supermarket, for destroying that phrase. Well, again, the problem of having foot soldiers, they're just so slow. Ah, oh, right, we've even got to the coast here now, so... Um, we can uh, go in and then we can just try and mop up this last little bit in uh, Senegal, isn't it? Yeah, because Banjui is Gambia. Yeah, so picking up uh, Senegal, capturing Dakar. I've got quite a lot in there now. Six, seven, eight, nine divisions in there. I still haven't moved my planes, which would have been handy. Never mind. Okay, and we're pushing them back into uh, Mauritania. As now. Right, yes, that's working. Yep, capture that airfield because it's on automatic for the airfields anyway, so I don't know where they are, but hopefully they'll be around somewhere. Is there any airfields in this part? Yeah, there's one there I can just see, <coughs> but it doesn't seem to have any planes in it, but... Okay, so if we get uh, the British Expedition Force attacking from that side as well, if we capture Algiers and just close that pocket. They wouldn't get supplied from Spanish Morocco because they're not allies, because I think the Spanish are only expeditionary forces. And so I think there, there are some ports, aren't there, on the, uh, on the Atlantic coast of Morocco. I think the uh, safety expert will be handy again later. Okay, so we captured that port. So if we can just, uh, well, Algiers, if we can just close off that last gap, then 
those boys, although supply will be poor at the moment anyway, but they will be out of supply if we can just close that just close that last little bit. Done. That's grand. So we trapped in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lovely job. And a German a German medium division as well. Almost done with Africa then. Dropping some ones into the North African Army. And ooh, we lost seven convoys. Ouch. Okay. Well, even though they are... I've still seen... I've got red. Why? It's circled. It does take, it take a little while for the uh, encirclement penalty to come in but yeah let me just mop this lot up uh, I must be starting now because that's turned green 85 so and the uh, Americans are there as they're just defending aren't they I guess I'll just chop this up into small groups shouldn't take too long to close all this out that worked quite well coming in behind and right destroyers so air construction four I probably did upgrade the destroyers Hopefully, again, I did. It's April now. Just still closing out this pocket. Mm, Hong Kong. Hold Hong Kong. Yep, that could be handy. <coughs> Send the job. Japanese have been a bit quiet, but I know they did. They had defeated communist China, didn't they? So it probably won't be too long before they start bothering us. Right, let's try to keep trying to push this front. Use those south. Africans to keep things moving. Yeah, I don't, they're not really putting up any resistance at all now, are they? There we are. Definitely gone. Right, Marines. Good. Yeah, move on, Marines too. Excellent. Uh, more tanks. And more artillery. Three. I didn't recognise what that was. Is that Dutch? Just a little bit tricky. I don't like the way that the AI rings. Rings the pockets because you then have everybody running around trying to go around the outside of the pocket rather than just trying to go through the pocket, which you don't need to because there's other troops on the other side of the pocket. So, yeah, not good. Not good programming, really. 
but I suppose it's probably quite complicated to have a check for that. Right, and almost done here as well. 98, 98, 98, 99. It's still 99. Just check to make sure I hadn't actually uh, fallen over, but it's still, time's still ticking on. It's still at 99. Oh no, oh, 89. Does that look like they're actually escaping through the port, though, aren't they? Which is possibly why well, they should be pinned, so maybe they did go. Because if you're fighting them, if they're in a battle, then, and they should be because there's only one province, then they shouldn't be able to leave. But then maybe the AI cheats, you never know. 99 again. Bing! So that's West Africa done. Um, apart from the Spanish bits. But say they're not in the war anyway, so that's... Um, so that won't be a problem. So it's just really a matter of mopping up Morocco. Not sure we'll get to finish that with this video, because it's already quite a long one. So, um, we maybe we will, maybe we won't. Okay, so we're going to send those South Africans up to there to start another naval invasion of Sardinia. Hopefully get at least one general to have some expertise in naval invasions. We keep using him. More artillery. Uh, yeah, because we're still short of a thousand. So, well, apologies for the a bit of an abrupt ending there. But anyway, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next one.